As said by the great John Hurwitz himself, it is time to strike back. The official trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5 dropped today on August 16th with even more of a sneak peek of what's to come. As we saw the recent announcement of the return of Mike Barnes, we also saw more of our favorite redeemed sensei chosen with some new faces including Kim Daun. As I've said before, we got some questions answered and we were left with even more questions. Will the rivalry end between Miguel and Robbie? Will Cobra Kai rule the valley forever? And what will we learn about Miguel's father in Mexico? This is my breakdown and theory of everything we know about Cobra Kai Season 5 so far. First, let's break down the official trailer shot by shot or rather scene by scene. The trailer opens up with what we saw in the Season 5 data announcement teaser. Daniel telling Chosen what the competition looks like as they see the TV featuring Terry Silver at the tournament giving his victory speech. Daniel begins to describe Terry's public image as a philanthropist as he's accepting an award of some kind with Amanda and some of the All Valley board members present. Terry is given the microphone to make a speech and the next quick shot cuts to him observing his students as Kim Daun is also present which then cuts to Terry grinning. As Johnny pulls up in the Eagle Fang van looking for a Michael, actually Michaela, we hear him narrate that he's no longer a sensei which cuts back to the end of the tournament where Tori defeated Sam in the finals. As Johnny speeds off in the van with Michaela and her friend in the back seat, Daniel announces to the Miyagido students that he has to shut down the dojo per the agreement he made with Kreese. Sam protests this decision, but Daniel says, with Johnny gone, it's on me to fix this, as we see Johnny slam the brakes and it shows his new career as a rideshare driver going fairly smoothly. Cobra Kai continues to train as we see Devin next to Toria with Kyler in the background, then shots of Kenny slamming a student to the mat, striking them, and passing out flyers for the dojo. Carmen receives a flyer in her mail, with Terry narrating that Cobra Kai has more students than ever as we see a student he's talking to from Cutting Edge Karate and states that we'll need more senseis as his limousine pulls up to a hangar where Kim Daun steps off the plane along with the other senseis he's bringing in. Terry makes it known that he wants to take over more than just the valley. At the water park, Anthony gets cornered by Kyler, Kenny, and the rest of the Cobra Kai as he's kicked into the pool, while Tori says everything was supposed to be better after the tournament, it's only getting worse. We see both Miyagido and Eagle Fang arguing and shoving with Cobra Kai and Hawk avoiding punches from Kenny until he gets hit in the face. We hear Robbie saying, I know how things can start out from nothing and get bigger and bigger until all you feel is hate as we see him take off his glasses, then see Miguel and Sam at the pool, where the former looks concerned, and supposedly Robbie or Kenny pushing who I assume to be Hawk into the pool, and then Miguel shoves Robbie as they stare down with Kenny looking on. Johnny pleads with Miguel and Robbie to get along since we're all friends now, but the two refuse to get along. We see more shots of Robbie and Miguel fighting, as it seems that Robbie has his nose bloodied by Miguel, with the two trading strikes until Robbie lands the kick off the wall. We cut back to the map of the valley with the Cobra Kai flags as Daniel tells Johnny Silver is dividing and conquering as it seems they're in an office of LaRusso Otto as Chosen and Amanda are also present. Chosen urges the importance of fighting back because everything we fought for will all be a memory as he stares at the TV screen of Silver, Daniel throwing a blanket over the Miyagido sign and Devin and Tori face off against Kim Daun. Terry asks Kim to see which of my students are ready to take the next step as we see another shot of the students with a new blonde sensei in the background and Devin is in a Topanga karate uniform as she's standing among the students and then fights Tori again as Kim Daun watches on. Kim Daun strikes Tori's leg with a bamboo stick and tells her to strike harder. Daniel and Chosen are possibly scouting one of Cobra Kai's locations with Amanda arguing that Daniel won't stop with Daniel responding to let me and Chosen handle it as we see Chosen being surrounded by six senseis from various dojos calling back to being surrounded in Karate Kid 2 as he taught a class, and Daniel continues, this is the only way to make it better. Amanda says to handle it, as Chosen fights the cutting edge Karate Sensei. Daniel looks down at a picture of his family, presumably after drinking as he looks haggard. Johnny slams his laptop down after watching a video of Terry, as he shows up to the LaRusso house where Sam opens the door, and sees Chosen and Amanda, as we hear him say, all we gotta do is get our hands dirty. Terry tells Daniel that if you continue down this path, nothing in your life will ever be the same again, as we see Daniel with a black eye, standing next to Chosen and Johnny as the dojos reunite again, this time joined by Robbie, Miguel, Anthony, and Amanda. Johnny nods to Daniel, and we then see Johnny and Chosen approach one of the new Cobra Kai senseis to teach him a lesson. 
We see Chosen teaching Miyagi-Do to the students, the dojo and others watching Sam and Robbie perform the wheel technique, some of the same members in the suits, presumably the All Valley Board, as we see Devin and Tori train together, Kim Daun with Sensei's readying their stance behind her, Johnny and Chosen back to back, Kenny vs. Hawk inside the Cobra Kai dojo with a new hair color, a continuation of Devin and Tori fighting Kim Daun, Devin fighting Sam, Tori attempting to hit someone, another shot of Devin and Sam fighting while the people in suits look on behind a table, Kenny attempting to fight Tyron Woodley, and Robbie, Hawk, and Miguel training together. We then see Daniel in his state earlier being confronted by Silver, either in his house or someone else's as his knuckles are bleeding, which cuts to a logo. We then cut to a woman telling Kreese she's happy to hear he's getting along with the other inmates, which then cuts to him laying someone out, and cuts back to him saying he makes friends pretty easily, which shows Kreese once again fighting, and concludes the trailer by him saying, I believe a little kindness goes a long way. Let's talk about some of my previous speculations and see if they still hold up, or if we can now debunk them with the trailer coming out. Regarding Hawk's previously suspected storylines, it looks like, along with the other students, the Chosen will have a hand in training the students and some of the other aspects of Miyagi-Do. While Sean still isn't in the picture, it looks like Kenny and Hawk will have a rivalry of their own this season, as Kenny was still quick enough to land a strike on Hawk at the water park. We can assume that the season will take place in the summer again like Season 2, so depending on how much time passes by the end of Season 5, we could perhaps still see Sean in the picture. In regards to Sam, while we don't see much of the same internal conflict that we saw in the previous teaser, I imagine that it will still be part of her arc going forward in the season. Perhaps some of the previous shots we saw will be intercut with her fight against Devin, as she's fighting through her own demons at the same time. As I previously suspected, Kreese's arc will focus on his time in the jail, and from what we've already seen, he can still take care of himself. I'm interested to see how it resolves, as we see Tori not only contemplate on her trophy, but hear her during the newest teaser, saying how things aren't getting better. With one of the new photos we saw, we also see her walking into the dojo to perhaps hand in the trophy, and reveal that she knew all about Silver paying off the referee. In regards to the rivalry between Miguel and Robbie, it looks like that it started from a misunderstanding of how the two intervened between Hawk and Kenny, in which the former was more than likely trying to defend Anthony. I would assume that the fight at the apartment complex will either take place after the water park fight, or right before it, which could lead to why things are so heated at the water park. The good news is that they will either completely resolve the rivalry, or put it to the side enough to work together, as we see both Miguel and Robbie training with Hawk. More importantly, we can't not talk about Tori's arc in Season 5. It seems that she will be put through rigorous training like Daniel was, being forced to break stone, and reprimanded with a bamboo stick for not attacking her opponent hard enough. It seems that she will also possibly take Devin under her wing or train with her quite a bit, as we see them together not only in some shots, but in some of the teaser photos we saw, which I will talk about here in the next section. Finally, let's talk about my predictions and what I suspect we'll see in Season 5. I'm going to first talk about some of the teaser photos and their importance to Season 5. The first picture confirms what we saw in the trailer, Kim Daun squaring off against Devin and Tori. This would also echo back to Terry ordering her to find the student that's going to be taken to the next level, and that would also explain why she's present when Tori is attempting to break stone, and also reprimanding Tori for not striking Devin hard enough. As far as who is this sensei is related to, one of the obvious answers would be Kim Sun Young, the sensei that both Terry Silver and Captain Turner trained under from South Korea, and being that they share the same surname of Kim, it is possible that she is related to the sensei. However, we'll have to wait and see, as this could be just an old friend Terry knew from his time in South Korea. The next picture is Devin, now officially Cobra Kai, training with Tori. I feel like I've talked about their relationship together already as fellow students, but my guess is that Devin joined Topanga Karate because Johnny no longer is a sensei and had to shut down Eagle Fang officially. I assume a major plotline going into the season is that Terry is either buying out all of these dojos, which would explain why we see many students and senseis from all over, or perhaps taking over the dojos by force, where if he defeats a dojo, he acquires the property, students, and teachers. The next picture we see are where Johnny and Robbie are celebrating their victory in Mexico. This has to take place in the Search for Miguel arc, which I feel is at the beginning of the season, and assuming the milk we see on the table, this is probably them winning some sort of spicy food contest, if I had to guess. The next picture is Daniel getting some R&R at some type of resort, or in his backyard. We could also assume that it's the water park, but the background and time of day seem pretty different, so maybe this is the adults hanging out together while the students are at the water park. The fifth picture is Kenny and Kyler seen standing in the Cobra Kai dojo among other students, 
Nothing too crazy about this picture, so we'll move on to the next one. We then see Amanda and Carmen looking worried as they get some kind of phone call. Perhaps this is them getting ready for date night, and my guess is that the night gets interrupted because Johnny and Chosen end up fighting the sensei in revenge for Daniel getting a black eye, but right now it's just pure speculation. The seventh picture is from the beginning of the trailer, where Terry is throwing a party at his house and is offering Amanda a drink. What's interesting to note is that Daniel may have been at the same party, as Amanda is wearing the same dress in the argument they're having. The eighth picture, which is one of my personal favorites, shows some of the dojos joining forces as Robbie, Anthony, and Mitch have joined Miyagido. This would have to be after Miguel comes back from Mexico, and Robbie makes amends with the rest of the students, much like Hawk did in Season 4. The ninth photo, which I talked about a bit already, is Tori walking into the Cobra Kai dojo with trophy in hand, perhaps to confront Silver on him paying off the ref. The next picture shows a lifeguard either intervening or most likely kicking out Miguel and Robbie for shoving each other and trying to intervene in the fight between the two dojos. Of course, picture 11 is the return of karate's bad boy Mike Barnes, as he's seen in his classic stance in formal attire squaring off against someone. My guess is that this is either at the party that Silver is throwing, or near the end of the season as being brought in for backup for Terry Silver and is preparing to fight either Johnny, Chosen, or Daniel. Last but not least, we have one of my favorite pictures, Johnny, Daniel, and Chosen standing together as an alliance as this matches up with them observing Sam and Robbie performing the will technique. This brings me to my speculation about what we saw in the trailer. My guess is the people we've seen in the suits are either new members of the All Valley Board or some kind of officials that are overseeing a competition that Miyagido and Eagle Fang are participating in that Cobra Kai is holding. Perhaps Silver, again, is asking these dojos to compete for a winner takes all or challenging any school to try to beat his best students. This would explain why these people are seen observing both dojos doing their respective training, and also while Sam and Devin are fighting each other. It's interesting to see Silver give Miyagido and Eagle Fang another chance. My guess is because Tori airs out that Silver purposely paid off the ref and overthrew Kreese's sensei, this is what causes Cobra Kai's victory to be null and void, and is why Silver is hosting this tournament instead. With that being said, this could also call for Kreese's release from prison, and perhaps he will be a last minute ally to Daniel's alliance to help against the numbers game that Silver is currently winning. I think one can assume that Silver or Barnes is responsible for Daniel's black eye, and in return, Chosen and Johnny are retaliating against Cobra Kai by defeating one of their senseis. All in all, we're less than a month away from Cobra Kai Season 5, and I can't wait to see how all this plays out. With Chosen and Barnes being brought into the mix, worlds are about to collide in the Miyagi-verse, there's going to be a ton of fallout that affects the valley. If things get crazy enough, we may actually see the end of one character, as Hayden Slosberg tweeted out. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out and thanks to my partners and affiliates. I now have official merchandise. Go to strifethewarrior.art or click on any of the merchandise below the comments section. If you're trying to prevent Terry Silver from taking over your dojo, then you're going to need a VPN. Go to NordVPN.com slash StrifeTheWarrior or use coupon code StrifeTheWarrior to get a NordVPN to your plan with a huge discount. You can use NordVPN to unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites that are not available here in the US. You can connect up to 6 devices at the same time with one account. There is no data logging whatsoever and it works even in China. NordVPN works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android, has a Chrome extension which is very user friendly and unlimited bandwidth. If you're not happy with it for any reason, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. With 7 All-Valley Championships under its belt, it's no wonder why NordVPN is a winner. If you use this code, you also help directly support my channel. So go to NordVPN.com slash StrifeTheWarrior or use coupon code StrifeTheWarrior at checkout. Last but not least, I'm sure I have a good majority of gamers in the audience, but did you know you can grab some excellent games while supporting charities at the same time? If you haven't already, you should check out Humble Bundle. They've raised over $200 million in charity since 2010 and feature a different charity site-wide every month. If you see a bundle you like, you can pay for what you want and in return get computer programs, games, ebooks, etc. and the proceeds support charity. Go to HumbleBundle.com and use my referral link in the description at checkout. As always, these referral links help support the channel, so thank you NordVPN and Humble Bundle. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you expect to see in Season 5? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment as these all help my channel grow. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my second gaming channel. I'm trying to get this channel to 1000 subscribers and supporting this channel also helps me support my main channel. I'll be uploading more clips to this gaming channel so stay tuned for that. Keep up with me on my socials via Instagram and Twitter. 
Shout out to my YouTube members, I appreciate the support. If you'd like to directly support the channel, consider becoming a member and enjoy perks such as VIP channels access in Discord, preview videos before release, 15% off of merch, members only live streams and chats and more, all for only 99 cents. Thanks for watching, stay beautiful, stay awesome and we'll catch you around next time.